More air sliding fortress. Yay. Hopefully this stage will be more interesting than the last. Yeah. And weapon energy. Of course. Better than endless M tanks, I guess. But I re yeah. I really think the Hex should implement an infinite weapon energy system. Rarely yeah. people ever use them anyway. And I don't think that having infinite uses of the weapons would be broken at all. I mean, a weapon is only really good if you can use it all the time anyway. Or at least in all the yeah. situations you want to use it. I think I think that's the problem with it, is that people, like, they know that the weapon's limited, so they might, like, not use it because they need it for something later. Mm -hmm. Exactly that. Even though you really should use them, even if they're limited, you're only limiting them by uh, your own... Um, your own mind basically limits them. Yeah. It's weird psychological stuff going on there. Yeah, I like that. That was the word I was looking for. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So, uh, so water wave. Water wave, yeah. It it barely deals any damage. Still, that's too bad, shame. really, because I commented in the thread that a, a weapon that basically only shoots upwards should still be great for that very one reason. But yeah, I yeah. can see it. It it doesn't kill stuff. That's not good. Not to mention you have uh, napalm bomb and. Star Crash and Power Stone, which can all hit above you as well, and tend to do more damage to everything. Yeah, so. kind of forgot that. Of course, you have other weapons that shoot upwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see why you say it's useless. I mean, yeah. there is no reason to use it really. Also, those Aquamets are immune to Water Wave mm -hmm. and Napalm Bomb. And those guys still I... die in one hit, so they basically. I think they just took the normal Water Wave with all the weaknesses and lack thereof. And it's horrendous damage in the first place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But good that you're using it, I like it. Yeah. Give every weapon a little bit of time to shine. <laughs> yeah. Also, these guys are immune to, to um, charge kick as well, which is strange, but okay. Mm -hmm. Well, if he says so. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of just random immunities going on in this game, I don't know. Hmm. It's just kind of strange that way. What's up with that guy? This room makes no sense in my opinion. I don't know. And here's the last time we'll see the cock blockers. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Use charge kick, dumbass. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then. So vertical transitions. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did you just die? <laughs> yeah, that was his intentional suicide because I had no help. Oh, but uh, okay. the original Mega Man 5 didn't have vertical boss transitions, and I think you could tell that the hmm. Hmm. he's move around while the boss is refilling his health. <laughs> right, so he does one of three things. He'll either <laughs> shoot balls at you, or he'll move side to side doing other attacks, but for some reason he really liked shooting balls at me this time. It's an interesting attack though, it seems like a lot of fun to dodge. Yeah. Crystallize the best weapon because you don't have to go up there to um, to get in the way of his attacks. It's just lazy. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a fun fight though. Mm -hmm. Maybe not because of the possibility of instant kill. I haven't tried it myself. But uh, well, yeah. you've always got the air sliding to save your butt in the last second. Yeah. There's not really that much of a danger of falling into the side and dying. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, this attack. I, I thought he reminded me of uh, of uh, Zero from eh, not Zero X from Mega Man Zero. He is basically the final boss of that game. Ah, that makes sense. You played that? Uh, I think I got to the end of it once. I never beat it, mm -hmm. but yeah, but the laser attack is really characteristic, and those two yeah. things to reach him are two. No crystal eye yeah. there. Well, next stage then. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, next stage. <laughs> 